Salut à tous, c'est Nocturne Max, on se retrouve pour la suite de What's Remain of Edit Finch. Sur le live, je m'étais arrêté euh, ici, dans le tapis. Et donc, euh, je reprends euh, tout de suite, euh, tout de suite après. Donc, euh, dans l'histoire, je vous rappelle que on est une, une jeune fille de 17 ans. Et euh, qu'on est dans la maison des parents. On essaie de découvrir un peu ce qui se passe. Donc euh, là, on a découvert euh, Molly. Et sur le papier, là. On a découvert Molly et qui nous a raconté une petite histoire euh, comme quoi elle avait tout le temps faim. Je vous laisse regarder euh, ce qui s'est passé dans le premier épisode. Si vous voulez en savoir plus. Donc, on continue. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. It's a strange story. I don't read the text, I'll leave it. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Zurpi. Ils se sont fait un délire avec les, les pies, c'est ça Zurpi Junior. Zurpi Bob. Il a pas de nom. Et Zurpi. Ouais. Peut-être que ça aura une incidence plus tard. Bon. Construit en 1937. Svens Finch. À 112 ans, une vieille dame refuse d'évacuer à cause d'un petit feu de forêt. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. <coughs> voilà. Il y avait une petite bulle de... Oh, des cassettes. Ah oui, la cassette de Clara Morgan là-dedans. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Son délire, c'était de faire ça. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Lewis died a week before we left, but... Edie had already started to memorialize him. Oh. 
Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. Uh -huh. Ah, Molly. Barbara. Balvin and Sam. Walter. Tom. Yes. Ivory, Lewis, Milton, Edith. Her room was like a museum. It's clear that it looks like a museum. Go down. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. Oh. His wife, yeah. Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Comment on quitte ça C'est vrai. Simplement en faisant flèche arrière. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Après, je pense qu'il faut remplir le, le livre euh, de l'arbre généalogique. Vous voyez, juste avant, euh, dans l'épisode précédent, euh, bon bah, Edith, c'est nous. On a trouvé Molly. Et là, on vient de trouver Odin. Ah bah, on a trouvé euh, probablement, peut-être la grand-mère. Je sais pas. Ah mais oui, ok, d'accord. Là, on est derrière. On a cassé, on est rentré par en haut. Eh oui, eh oui, eh oui. On va passer là. On va là oh. J'aime pas du tout la moquette. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. It was a pretty big trace. Oui, j'aime beaucoup. Un enfant là-dedans. Par contre, on se voit pas. Ça, c'est nul. C'est censé être un miroir. Mais on se voit pas. de jardin dans la lumière. Ah. Allez, alors où il y a faut cette clé là There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. <rire> Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Photo. Photo. Ah ouais, c'est pas vu. Vérifier et regarder un petit peu les décors comment ils sont. Calvin Finch. Oh, 
de sable et le fort de Camelot. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin, and that he never talked about him. Les écritures me disent de monter. Oui, on va voir, j'ai la fille de bas. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. How I want to remember my brother by Sam Fink. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Well. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barbara's funeral, he swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Ah, c'est vomitif hein, quand même. Balancez comme ça dans les anglais. Ta gueule, fais de la balance. Non, pas de la balance. Mais ce jour-là, il a finalement fait up his mind. Ah, J'imagine le truc en vert là-dessus. Là. Oh my god. J'ai dit qu'il allait aller autour, c'était impossible. Fouah. Non, je vais arrêter. Non, c'est pas possible ça. Désolé pour ce passage un peu vomitif. Mais euh. Oh my god. Manque de précision pour euh, certaines touches, c'est dommage. Faut pas que je me balance à fond quand même. Bon, on va essayer. Opération vomitif. Maybe if I hadn't said that. I was a bit tough, boss. I'm not gonna tell you again. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up, then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt. I think he'd already made up his mind. Oh my gosh. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Holy shit. Summer. Whoa. The day he made up his mind, he fell. And he did. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. C'est sympa, mais visuellement c'est chaud, hein. Je comprendrai que vous appuyez ce moment. Vous inquiétez pas. Je... After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's hat. Je le laisse entièrement pour ceux qui veulent le voir, mais. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. 
Ben, il fait un carrefour sur vert. Euh, Opération. The passages euh, were a pretty bon tight montage. fit. They'd obviously been built oh, for smaller hands and bellies. Oh, non, juste ça. Ouais. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Un enfant star. Ah oui, Barbara. Elle est là de façon euh, Hollywood, mais en Barbara. Elle est sympa. Elle a eu les Oscars. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Happy birthday, Barbara. Voilà. Il y en a qui s'appelle Barbara et c'est leur anniversaire. Ben, un gâteau pour vous. Happy birthday. Barbara Stewart. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Old Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up, a has-been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. Mm, getting uh, better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara <laughs> got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orcas Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... You're right! Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him, right on cue. She reached for the music box. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Je, je joue dans le livre. She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. Ça c'est vraiment surprenant. Ah là vous voyez ça j'adore. Bam. Bam. The gang's leader 
is the infamous Hookman killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you're... She uh, threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up, but if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Alors, devenir jouable. Dans la BD, c'est... Voilà la table. Oh, oh non, dommage. La télé. Ah non, dommage. Island police described the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. I returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. <laughs> Ah bah là voilà, la table est cassée. She heard was at the door. She heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. Oh dear. She saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be 
Chaos. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter? Hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Cool. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Ciao!